Hi, I'm Tamara Haynes uh, here at AQS Paducah Quilt Week, and I just caught up with Cassandra Ireland Beaver, and she is a longtime contestant. We have seen you so often, haven't we? Welcome yes, back. Yes, I'm excited to be back. Yes. It's thrilling. Well, you have done this wonderful quilt in the Wall Quilts Quilter's Choice category, sponsored by Elna, and it is so different from what we have seen. So tell it us is. a little bit more about your zoo portrait family. So this is 12 animals that came from photographs that I took at the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium wow. over the course of about four years okay. to get the photographs. And then I put them together in Photoshop. Okay. I put that composition mm -hmm. into AutoCAD and I drew up a foundation paper pieced pattern to create this quilt. Wow, I was reminded of that bourbon diamonds kind of technique. Mm -hmm. Is that similar to what? It's somewhat similar. Okay. Uh, it's all, uh, this is foundation paper piecing. Okay. And so anything that's foundation paper pieced, one of the reasons I like this technique so well is because once you learn that technique, you can make any foundation paper pieced pattern or make your own pattern okay. like I did yes. uh, to create your quilt. So it's not really any more difficult. It's okay. just might take longer because it has more pieces. Gotcha. Well, there's so many facets to each of these. Tell us about, uh, point out, are, do we have favorite animals? Do we? Well, I'm very fond of the lion because okay. it's uh, Tomo the lion. Okay. And so it's a very specific lion from the zoo. Mm -hmm. And I happened to be there an unseasonably warm day in January when I was able to get a picture of him. And all of these animals have their own personality. Mm -hmm. I didn't choose a bear. I mm -hmm. chose uh, Buckeye the bear. Gotcha. <laughs> so Gotcha. I love how you use the quilting. It's very tight quilting, but it gives the movement of their hair yes. uh, as you sculpted each of these animals as well. Do you tell us about that? So I tried to uh, follow the patterns that would be either in the fur or the feathers. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's a lot of linear work to mm -hmm. emphasize that. But then the, the turtle and the, the tortoise, because their skin has circular points on it, mm -hmm. on their legs, uh, I tried to enhance that with the quilting as well. Well, you did a magnificent job. It tells a beautiful story. And so, well, thank you so much for spending a few minutes with yes. us and sharing this quilt with us. And uh, we look forward to seeing your next creation. And thank you for joining us. We hope you were inspired to create your next quilt uh, with photographs of your favorite composition.